What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going to Jesse's house to get some maintenance done on the truck. Should be able to do an oil change and I really need to do the diff service. So I'm going to be swapping the diff cover from the factory to a BNM that I've had for a little while. So I'm finally going to get to putting that in. I think we're going to start with that and then do the oil change because the oil change I'm really not up to the time yet but the truck's starting to complain about it. So we'll knock it out. But I'm getting everything together and then I'll bring the truck over and load it up and head to Jesse's house. All right, I think I got everything together. Now I just need to go grab the truck. I still need to pick up an oil filter and another thing of oil for the truck. But I've got all the diff stuff and the toolboxes and my radio. So I can go ahead and hopefully get the job done. All right, guys, all loaded up. You can see some of the stuff behind me. Just got to swing by O'Reilly's real quick, pick up the filter and some more oil, and I'm on my way to Jesse's house. I guess we got to Jesse's house. Uh, finally started getting the diff off. Had a little bit of trouble getting it off because they use gasket sealer and no gasket. So I gotta go and figure out a way to get all this off because I didn't bring my razor blades with me because I didn't think there was gonna be a gasket because the new one doesn't have one. So once I get this off, I've already sprayed these all out. I'm gonna finish getting a little bit of fluid out of the back. Everything looks good in here. And then I go ahead and put the new cover on. So let me show you guys the right, new so cover. This is gonna be the new BNM uh, rear diff cover. I've already started getting some of the load bolts and everything put together with where the drain plug goes, with where the fill plug goes, and everything else. So this is a little bit heavier. And definitely a lot a bit thicker than the factory one, which is actually right here. So they had the gasket sealer all the way on it, so I got to pull all that off. But this one is, as you can see, not as thick and not as deep, not as protective. So with the new B&M one, off-roading shouldn't be a problem. And just by this, you should be able to see it from underneath the car. The other thing I noticed was the spare tire is cracked, so I'm going to have to fix that. Since I didn't really get a chance to finish filming the install last night, I thought I would show you guys what it looks like under the truck. So there's a little bit of seepage just because I did get it wet with a couple of things between putting everything together. But uh, it's the B&M rear diff cover. And I still need to clean up some stuff so I can uh, make it look nice. But you can see from under the truck a little bit. Spare tire covers a lot of it, um, especially with how dark it is. So once you get it up here. But I am happy with it, and it is uh, a lot easier when I need to change the fluids. All I have to do is drain it out from the drain plug, which the factory one didn't really have. And then I can go ahead and fill it from the new fill plug on the B&M as well as opening the fill plug that's on the OEM diff and it'll allow it to fill the drain you know you can kind of fill it in the hole without having it pour out it'll pour out the factory one so you don't get that backflow not knowing if it's full or not so it should be a lot easier and it also allows the air to come out easier in order to fill it so hopefully this makes uh, all the changes I have to do from now on easier and of course uh, look uh, upgrade looks good is always nice so See you guys in the next video.